Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Luke is upstairs working. So I'm gonna attempt to make a few homemade things today. So I'll show you guys what I'm making. So here are the dishes that I've been accumulating. I love the Nordic design because I'm part, actually I'm very Scandinavian. So I've got some pie plates. When I'm trying new things and I'm getting frustrated in the kitchen, it's like, okay, a nice little design makes me feel happy. I'm really, really proud of all my pretty dishes in here. And I love having a bunch of little dishes. You can make, you know, potatoes, sweet potatoes in one, turkey in another, and turnips and, and whatever else people eat on Thanksgiving. Um, so anyway, I'm really, really happy about my dishes here. And I got too many, but they were so pretty I had to get them. I just love blue. As you can see, blue is basically my favorite color. So I'm gonna put something in the oven and then we're gonna try the turkey. We're gonna try making some pie. What else are we gonna try to do? Um, we're gonna try to make some other stuff. Hope you guys are having a nice day with your families and just having a blast. Okay guys, I am just going to try to put a couple things in the oven. So basically, I bought my fail-safe ham and turkey which I really like these. I could totally just eat what I have right here for Thanksgiving and I'd be happy, but I'm gonna make mashed potatoes and stuff. And also I have a real turkey in here, well, a turkey breast, and I'm gonna cook that because I don't, I don't like the dark meat. So I got the Kentucky Legend oven roasted turkey and oven roasted ham, and it's pre-cooked and sliced. So I just put some of that on in this thing, so I've got some turkey, some ham, and I just felt like putting apples on there, I don't know why. And over here, I had some beets and I meant to cook them before, and I'm supposed to have more beets because they're really good for me. And Luke likes beets, so I'm like, okay, I'll cut some beets up. I got some really nice beets at the store that are all nice with the roots and everything, or it is a root, with the stems and everything attached. They look so pretty. And so I put a couple of them in here with some sweet potatoes and celery and apples because I'm just um, trying to get myself into making apple crisp and apple pie. I bought so many apples and I have so many extra, so um, yeah, they're up there. I have a whole bunch. So I'm going to just stick this in the oven and also the, the meat and we can have something to eat while I'm working on the rest of stuff. So I woke up a little late today because I was working at night. I'm actually gonna sprinkle some brown sugar on some of these. I'm really winging this right now and probably making every faux pas ever, but um, I really like no one being over my shoulder. I can just kind of just experiment and <laughs> do Thanksgiving how I like to do it and yeah, I try to make it really easy. Then I have time to concentrate on things like the pie and things that I'm not, I've never made a homemade pie before, so we're going to try. It's going to be semi-homemade because I'm not making the crust, and yeah. <laughs> so, sprinkle a little brown sugar on the ham, too. I'll put a little bit of brown sugar on the turkey, too, because we both like things sweet, and it's, it's sweet for my sweet, and Luke loves brown sugar and apples and fruit, so, all right, we're going to stick those in, and uh, Reynolds Craft is my friend. I really like this candle. It makes me really happy. It's called Fresh Ocean Flowers. I've been having that on today and I got this little butterfly candle holder for myself. That's my happiness right now and I'm really happy that I got something in the oven. So I've got these guys cooking in the oven and I like getting the small dishes because then that gives you lots of room to put lots of stuff in there. I just remembered another reason I like these little dishes is because if I'm just making stuff for two or just a few people, then I don't, I tend to fill everything up to the top of whatever I'm making. So if I get the small ones, then I, I won't make too much food and then I won't have like tons of food that I can't eat or anything. So, all right, so we have this little dish and I think that's gonna fit my turkey. If not, I have one that's slightly bigger. So this is what the turkey that I got this year. Uh, this is the oven roasted boneless turkey breast. So it looks pretty good and it also comes with a packet to help me gravy. I have made homemade gravy a couple times. I'm not the I'm not perfect at it, so this might come in handy. I also have canned gravy or I also have recipes on the internet for gravy if I absolutely need to. So yeah, I bought this and I just thawed it in here and it says you can cook it in the bag. 
Uh, that freaks me out, as I said before, because I don't like putting plastic in my ovens. But I know it's probably fine. I just, it just, I don't know. <laughs> it's just not my cup of tea. So I'm just gonna uh, transfer it over here into the pan. Okay, guys. Um, I kind of went overboard a little. I had fun. Um, I stuck some little pieces of vegetables around it because I was like, okay, I took the bag away, so I won't have a bag. And I stuck a little bit of water in the bottom and then I just stuck some tiny pieces of apple, sweet potato, and some celery, and a little bit of beet because I had some around. So I was like, I'll just stick it in there and make it look pretty and red and happy. And Luke is not a fan of onions. He's allergic to onions. I'm not gonna stick any of those in. So I like to make things sweet instead of oniony and sour. Okay, so there you go. We're gonna put rental crap on it. And then we're gonna stick it in the oven and I'm gonna look at my directions and see how long it's supposed to be in the oven and then hopefully Luke will be able to eat some food soon. All right, so we're back with the next most important thing for Thanksgiving, which is mashed potatoes. I like the instant stuff sometimes or the stuff that you get frozen and then you mash it. It's Thanksgiving, so we're gonna make it really authentic. And Luke loves mashed potatoes. His grandmother made the best mashed potatoes in the universe. Yes, that is an established fact if your grandmother I think she made the best potatoes. It's actually Luke's grandmother that did. I'm totally joking. All our grandmas make the best mashed potatoes. Obviously, I've got regular potatoes here. I'm gonna peel them like I started to do here. Stick them over here, and then we are gonna boil them, mash them, put butter and milk in them, and some salt and maybe a little pepper and make them tasty, and hopefully Luke will like them and I will do justice to his mashed potatoes. As you can see, I peeled the potatoes. Yay, me! And there they are. They I put them in little chunks, so I cut them up so they'd be easier to boil. And our water is kind of boiling. I put a little salt in it to keep it uh, boiling a little faster. So we're gonna put the potatoes in the water and then we're gonna let it boil for a while until they get soft and then we're gonna mash them up. Put some milk and butter in there and some salt and pepper. And I forgot, we have to make green bean casserole so I cannot forget that. <laughs> K-Wing thanks you for um, watching my food vlogs because it inspires me to cook more for him and sometimes I forget to cook for him because I'm I want to help out more with the channel and um, he likes uh, homemade food so you guys watching this helps K-Wing to eat so <laughs> thank you. Um, I've got the potatoes boiling and this some stuff in the oven here. This is making me feel so happy today. I had one piece this morning and we have another now. The cheesecake is one of my favorite things. Yeah, Luke was going to get me a little assortment of cheesecakes for Thanksgiving and I, I made him put it back because I didn't think there was enough room in the fridge, but I'm going to make him get it for me tomorrow, or I'm going to get it tomorrow. The water is boiling over here with the potatoes. You can see there they are. They look happy. We've got a couple of dishes. Actually, it's starting to smell pretty good in there. And I am listening to a lot of 60s music on my phone and just uh, hanging out here. I love this really big kitchen because I can just kind of dance around and listen to music and uh, and cook so it's like if I can if I can sing to myself and dance around then like it doesn't matter if I'm alone because I can still have lots of fun especially listening to some oldies and stuff like that so I will see you guys, catch you guys in a bit I think I'm going to try the green bean casserole next so my vegetables uh, came out and I put a little bit more brown sugar on them. I'm going to stick them back in for a little bit, but they look really good. I have beets in there and some sweet potato and celery. So I knew something smelled really good, so I was really happy to um, grab that out. And I'm going to stick this back in for a little bit. This might be done over here. This is, I mean, these were already pre-cooked, the ham and the turkey. So I'll be able to make Luke ham and turkey sandwiches for the week. And surprisingly, the ones that I got are not that expensive, these things, and I like them. I think they taste really good. Obviously, it's a little expensive to get both, but hey, it's Thanksgiving, and it motivates me to make more sandwiches for Luke. So there we go. I'm going to stick it back in. We still have this one. This is the real turkey cooking in there. So all my pans are tiny and small, like me. And <laughs> I like I like small things. And it yeah, I like the small pans. I think they're so adorbs. 
the cute little design just makes me happy when I'm baking. If I was just baking in a regular pan, I wouldn't be as happy. I get to smile looking at it. Like, my pan is so pretty and it makes me happy. So I'm going to stick these back in and um, I'll see you guys soon. Hopefully Luke will be able to eat a little bit of this while I'm making everything else for him here. And the potatoes are boiling and looks like they're getting a little softer there. I'm going to kind of check with a spoon and then when it's soft enough I'm going to blend it with a blender. Some people use a masher but I'm going to use a blender, a family recipe from Luke's side of the family. I've got my kind of um, pre-cooked turkey and ham up there and I have the real turkey down on the bottom. Alright, we're going to make green bean casserole. So, if you guys... I've never made green bean casserole and you're at Thanksgiving or someone asks you to help or bring something and you do not know nothing about cooking like I pretty much didn't know for so many years. Um, green bean casserole, I would like volunteer to make green bean casserole because it's the easiest thing, it's pretty cheap and um, it's really good and people love it. And I don't even like green beans but I like green bean casserole now so, uh, so basically you just need frozen green beans and I really like the French style cut because then all the beans get evenly coated. You don't have big chunks of them so it gets mixed in really nicely. So I like the French cut and you can just get basic. It doesn't, I've tried it with fresh green beans before and it really doesn't taste any better to me but feel free to do whatever you want. And then obviously um, we need some cream of mushroom soup. This is just how I make it. There's um, lots of green bean casseroles out there but this is the recipe that is really simple for me and yeah it might be not totally extremely healthy but there are no calories on Thanksgiving didn't you know so um, you just basically dump the ah, just dump it in there and then we might need some more I have some more of these so depending on how much you want you just dump it in there and then you're going to get uh, French uh, onions, you can get the basic or you can get the brand name, it doesn't really matter. They're both, they're, they look like this and um, I call them frunions, so we're just going to dump those in there. You can do a lot of them and then you can top it on top with, I might have put too much there, I'll just do that. There we go. And then we're probably going to put some more soup in there and I'll stir it. So you just basically stir it together until it's all even, and it's going to take me a while to stir. well, with one hand it'll take me a while, but I'll put down the camera, I'll stir this, and then we're going to put it in a pan, we're going to put some tin foil over it, and usually it takes about a half an hour to cook, and then you stir it again, um, and sprinkle some more of these guys on the top, so it's crunchy on the top, and it it's really, really good, so, um, yeah, I put a lot of onions in there, but that's okay. Luke doesn't mind. Um, it's, it's all good. It's going to be delicious. So I still have to attempt to make a homemade pie uh, for Thanksgiving, and I still have to feed Luke a little bit of food for now until I have the rest of my stuff ready. So um, I'm going to put this in the oven after I stir it. I'll, I'll show you guys when it's in the pan, and then I will come back and we will do some other things uh, we need sweet potatoes with marshmallows and we need mashed potatoes and stuffing and obviously cranberry sauce but I'm not making homemade cranberry sauce. It's going to be from the can because actually Luke likes it better that way and so do I. So, uh, Alright, and the potatoes are still boiling. Okay guys, so we stirred the green bean casserole so I'll show you guys exactly what I used. This actually will help me for future reference. Maybe when I make this next year or maybe every week for Luke if he wants it. So I used one bag of the French style green beans, so just regular generic green beans here, frozen. And so two whole things of Campbell's cream of mushroom soup, basically the whole thing. And one and a half things of French's uh, crispy, what are they called? I don't remember what they're called. The tag is in the way. Oh, French's crispy fried onions. So basically I used basically the whole thing of that and half and half of that. So yep, 
so one and a half of that and we stirred it all together now we're gonna stick it in a pan and maybe sprinkle a few of these on top and um, I might just put some of it in a pan and stick the rest I, I really need to cook it uh, fast so Luke can have some so I might stick it in two small pans so it'll cook, cook faster I'm not sure yet I, I know the hype is killing you guys will I stick it in one pan or will I divide it in two I guess you have to find out okay well I guess the world will never know I still haven't decided what I want to do since I only have a number of pans I do have Pyrex dishes to cook in but I don't I still am working on that glass cooking and glass really freaks me out. I'm afraid it's gonna shatter. I have to look online and make sure that I could stick them in or what I have to do to make sure they don't shatter or something. But you guys at home are probably like, oh no, they'll be fine or yeah, I just, I need to make sure before I blow up the house. So um, I just started sprinkling the frunions on here. So I just sprinkled them on the top and we're gonna put tin foil over this and cook this for I think it should be half an hour I'm just gonna check online today the what Google is my cookbook today I'm checking online so far everything I cooked um, I already know how to make the things that I still need to cook are the apple pie and the um, sweet potatoes with marshmallows neither of which I have really cooked before so that is going to be the most exciting and interesting part of this very long Thanksgiving vlog, which thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Thanksgiving and spending time doing what you like uh, the most. Please uh, feel free to let me know in the comments if you're doing anything fun or exciting or um, what you feel thankful for. Uh, today I'm feeling very thankful for my new uh, place that we're in Pennsylvania. It was an interesting uh, move. I'm so thankful for my husband and the fact that he'd move out here for me. He's so sweet for my cat and um, I'm thankful for all of you guys. And our little place is coming together. It's actually, as you can see, I'm still cooking and it's getting really dark outside. It's actually um, five o'clock. So I still haven't fed K-Wing Thanksgiving. So I need to feed him. And maybe after that I call my family and stuff like that so so this is what happens when you wake up a little bit late on Thanksgiving it's takes a little bit longer but hopefully hay wing will be fed soon and looks like the potatoes are boiling so we can make mashed potatoes soon all right well to all of you guys no matter if you're with your family or by yourself or anywhere that you are or doing something else please have a wonderful Thanksgiving I'm very thankful for all of you guys and I, I hope that I hope that you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving wherever you are.